Welcome back today, New York City Chronicles, day two. We have a lot of cool things planned for today. First thing is we are coming right here to the American Museum of Natural History. I wanted to go to this really bad last time, ran out of time. This is one of the most famous museums in America. This is the museum that was used for Night at the Museum, the movie Night at the Museum. And then after this, we have a pretty cool tour that we're gonna do. And today is absolutely freezing. The wind is blowing. You see the flag up there. It's a little bit rainy right now, but we are heading up in here for the museum. But our tour in a little bit is outside. And we've made it inside. We're greeted with this huge entrance right here. Two dinosaurs. But we don't have a ton of time in here. I don't think this is gonna be as big as like some museums in Washington, DC, but we're gonna make the most out of our time. Right now we're headed into the African uh, mammal exhibit. And I love animals. As you guys probably know, I love museums. So this is really, really cool for me. And I do like that movie and I do museum. So it's kind of surreal being in this place where all of, all of that happened. They really make these exhibits look so lifelike. If you guys know, in Kilimanjaro Safari and Animal Kingdom, this is one of the first animals that you actually see in that ride, the bongo. These are called the ghost of the forest. And look at this huge tux that they have right here. I don't think this is from an elephant. It's way too big for an elephant, probably a woolly mammoth. They also have this one in Kilimanjaro Safari, the greater kudu. And now it looks like we are in the African people's exhibit where they got all kinds of different art and tools that some of the peoples from across the continent of Africa have used. All kinds of these different bronze statues. These probably come from the Benin people. I actually went to a museum in Orlando called Bronze Kingdom, which has the largest collection of bronze statues in the world, which specifically come from Africa. And they have uh, sections dedicated to all types of different cultures around the world. Like right now, we are in Central and South America. This looks like the ancient Mayan calendar, but this is actually the Aztec Stone of the Sun. This museum is so big. It's much bigger than I thought. There's like five floors over here with a lot to do on each floor. We think this is the last level. This is one with all of the dinosaurs and prehistoric life. Just imagine being around and you see this titanosaur. Huge. Here is a dinosaur called the Carnosaurus. But then down here we can see how much bigger the T-Rex was because the T-Rex is the lar was the largest meat-eating creature of all time. Check out this skeleton. This is of the largest deer to have ever lived. It's called Megaloceros. And check it out. This is the blue whale, the largest animal in the world. Imagine seeing one of these while you're swimming in the ocean. That'd be terrifying. So the museum was super cool. There is uh, so many things to see over here. So you definitely gotta give yourself like a good three, four hours to do everything in here. We were here for about two hours and we weren't able to see everything. We missed one whole section and kind of rushed through some of the sections just because we ran out of time. Now we are on our way to a tour. This is a superhero tour of New York City. Cool thing is they have a subway entrance right in the museum. So we know that in superhero movies, New York is very prominent, especially Marvel. So that's what this next tour that we're about to do is. It's a tour, a superhero tour of New York City. So hopefully we get to see a lot of cool Marvel things, Spider-Man, um, the Marvel TV shows. Today's such like a cloudy day though. It was raining a little bit earlier, but not really anymore. But it honestly makes the buildings look super cool. Like this right here is the Chrysler building. We can't really see the tip top of it, but we do see like the gargoyles coming down and it looks very ominous i'm like out of gotham this is our meeting point right over here at the united nations building all right so we have a tour guide and we were just at the united nations and we were talking about how the united nations has been a site for many different uh, comics and different characters in the past but um actually one of the coolest things is that the united nations honored Wonder Woman as one of the honorary ambassadors over there. A few years ago, um, Linda Carter, who played Wonder Woman back in the day on TV, and Gal Gadot, who currently plays Wonder Woman, actually accepted the award over here. 
All right, so right here, kind of by the United Nations, this is a place called Tudor City, you see it up there. But actually up here at the top of this building, that's where the Green Goblin from the Spider-Man film, that's his house, his actual house. So this building right here, this is the news building. This is the inspiration for the Daily Planet, which is in the Superman movies and comics. And actually right here, through these doors to the right, this is where Christopher Reeves first came out in his Superman costume, these doors right here. You just seen this a little while ago, but of course, this is the Chrysler. This is the Chrysler Building, it's home for so many superhero movies um, and other movies as well. This is where uh, Spider-Man came to mourn Uncle Ben. And whenever Batman is pictured hanging off a gargoyle, it's based off of this building. Right here in front of Grand Central Terminal, on this bridge right here, this is actually where the Avengers assembled in the first Avengers in the Battle of New York City. And then if we look behind it, you see the MetLife building right there? That's actually where the Stark slash Avengers Tower would be. Actually, when Disney was filming for the Avengers, they shut down this whole block for three days, filled with cars, rubble, burning stuff, all kinds of stuff for three days. But actually, something that's pretty cool, if you see this green lamppost, this is the color the lampposts were all on this street right here. Disney couldn't have green there because they were doing green screen. So they actually painted these lampposts red, and New York has not fixed it since. So some of these lampposts are red instead of that green color. So this spot right here, Sue Park Avenue is actually the home of Timely Comics and what would be known as the Marvel Comics. The first artist would come to work right here. So the superhero tour of New York City was very good. Our tour guide Mike was great. It was a two hour tour so if you like superheroes definitely come check out the superhero guided tour of New York City. Alright it's a little bit later now in the day stop to get some food but just took a subway over here to columbus circle i remember this from last time um we were over here and we went into this mall right here um but i just want to point out like the buildings look crazy right now it looks like gotham city at nighttime it's so foggy the clouds are all the way down on the buildings and then central park looking pretty cool as well it looks a little bit foggy with the street lights Alright guys, that's going to conclude the day today. Had a great time. The superhero tour was really, really cool. Plus the Natural History Museum. I always wanted to do that, so I'm super glad we got to do that. So tomorrow, we got some more cool things planned for day three here in New York. So if you guys enjoyed the video, like would be appreciated. Hit that subscribe button so you keep up with all the videos. I thank y'all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.